Creating videos for YouTube takes up a lot of time. It's really an incredible amount of work that I feel like most non-video people don't really understand that. In fact, if you're a YouTuber, I'd love to know how much time you spend on putting together just one of your videos. If you could leave me a comment in the comment section, that would be super interesting. For me personally, one of the most time intensive parts is putting together all the motion graphics. That's why today I wanna to show you the YouTuber pack. This is a product for Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects. It comes with 100 motion graphic items, and if you're like me, it will really, really speed up your workflow. So for my channel, I focus mainly on Adobe After Effects tutorials. I do reviews of plugins. Occasionally I'll do roundups, listicles, gear reviews. So motion graphics are a really helpful tool. I use them to show keyboard shortcuts, step-by-step -step instructions, all the different titles of series, the listicles and roundups, links to websites, as well as social media callouts. So I used this pack on the last video on my channel, which was my monthly roundup for freebies and tutorials. Now in this video, I'm going to recreate some of the graphics that I used so you can take a closer look at this pack and see how it works. Also, any graphics you see in this video were created using this pack as well. As always, if you end up liking this product and you want to purchase it, please use my affiliate link down in the video description. So this product comes with an Adobe After Effects project file as well as the 100 Mogart templates for Premiere Pro. Those only work um, back to version 2018. That's when Adobe introduced the Essential Graphics panel to Premiere Pro. But the first thing you wanna do is you wanna to go to the help documentation and open up the README document. This is gonna give you links to all the fonts that you need to uh, download and install. Now. This could be a nightmare following all these individual links, but the creator has added a nifty Dropbox link here and basically gathered together all those fonts so you can download them all in one file and then install them very, very quickly. I've actually worked with other templates where that's not the case. You have to download those individually. It can take so much time it's, it, and it can really be a nightmare. Two thumbs up for that. The creator has also left their email address in the help documentation, so if you have any questions, you can email them directly. And if you look at the reviews on VideoHive, this product has really high reviews, and one of the things that people consistently mention is the fact that the customer service is really, really fast and really good. So let's jump into Adobe Premiere Pro. This is my project for my last video on my YouTube channel, which is again, a roundup video for freebies and tutorials. Basically, there's five freebies and I think five tutorials, something like that, so I wanna create these graphics that are numbered, so I'll have a one come up, and then I'll have the name of the freebie as well as the category. But first, I need to install my Mogart templates. For that, I'm gonna go to Window and select the Essential Graphics panel. And here I have two tabs. I have the Browse tab where I can find all my Mogart templates, and then there's the Edit tab where I can edit the ones that I have currently selected. So to install these, I just need to simply drag and drop them in here, or I can use this plus button. So I'm gonna navigate back here and find my product. There's a Mogurt folder, I'm gonna open this, and here I have all 100 templates. Now, more specifically, I have 20 logo reveals, 25 lower thirds, 15 transitions, 10 end cards, 10 info bars, and 20 titles. I'm gonna control A, select all these, and then watch, I'm gonna drag and drop them directly over the Browse tab. And that's gonna install those. I'm gonna hit the tilde key to full screen this panel. And now I'm gonna filter these out by just the YouTuber pack. And I saw that they're called uh, TYP. So if I type that in, hit enter, that'll give me just these 100. Now, these are just thumbnails. I can't see the animation. So if you wanna have a quick reference of what these are looking like, you can actually come over here to the product page and then when you scroll down, there's a bunch of animated GIFs for everything. So here we have the logo reveals. We have lower thirds, and here we go. I have a numbered one right here, so I like this one. And I also need to put up a URL, so let's see what else I can find here. This one's looking pretty good. Now these are both listed under titles, so let's go back to Premiere Pro, and I can go find these under titles. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit this little star and favorite it. So there's our numbered one. Now let's go find that URL, hit that star. And now I can quickly filter these out like this. So now I have these two, and let's find our position where we wanna put our first number. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab this, just drag it, drop it straight over, and now if I play it back, you can see I have my text come up full screen, uh, but we need to make some customizations, like for instance, this uh, the number isn't looking good on this background. So let's go over here to the Edit tab and see what parameters we have. Well, first of all, I can change the duration. This is in seconds. But one thing you wanna know about this is as I change the duration, the actual length of the clip is not gonna change, so be aware of that. So let's say we wanna take it down to six seconds. You can see the slider change, but this didn't change. Um, and I'm gonna scale it down a little bit. And then I'm gonna put it up 
in the top left corner here. Okay, this first freebie is called the Map Marker Callout, and this is an animation preset, so I'll just type in After Effects Animation Preset under text holder 2 here. And you can see I can change the font, I can change all the parameters of the text here, it's got tracking, I can scale the individual text, but I'm gonna leave all that where it is. Now text 3 is the number, so I'm gonna change this to 1, and I'm gonna need to reposition this as well. And I also wanna change the color of this. So this is one thing I kinda don't like too much about this. You can see text 1, 2, 3, and if you aren't looking, uh, and you kinda forget which one's text 1, 2, or 3, not a big deal. So I'm gonna change this to white, and now that pops out. Let's go back, and I'm gonna reposition this just a little bit to something like over here. Okay, now I'm also gonna try to match my branding here, so I'm gonna change the color of the background. So I'm gonna open up my little logo that I've got here, and then I'm gonna go grab this yellow color, and grab the color picker, and then just sample my logo here. And now I'm gonna change all these colors to white to make them stand out a little bit more. Okay, so now I've got all this in place. Now, you might be thinking, these might be a lot of steps to take if I, let's say I have a list of like 10 different items here. This can take a long time if I'm gonna do this every time. So that's why I'm just gonna basically duplicate this title and change the parameters for each duplicate. So let me show you how to do that. First, I'm gonna find the end of my animation, which is right here. And then I'm gonna trim this clip manually. And I'm gonna hold the Alt key and click and drag. And that's gonna duplicate this. And the cool thing about this now I can make changes to this one, and it's a duplicate, so it's going to be completely individual. So first we'll change this to number two, and now all I really need to do is change the text elements. So this one is uh, Intro to Color Grading, and this is a video course. And now if I wanted to do a list of 10 or 20 items, I could do it really fast just by duplicating these and then changing the text for each item. Now let's say I want to add a transition here. So I'm going to zoom in on my timeline. I'm going to grab this clip and bring it to the edge of my previous clip here. And we want to transition between this website clip into the clip of me with the, with the uh, graphic here. So I'm going to go to the Browse tab and look for the transitions. There's a number of them here. And many of them have numbers, so this is going to work out perfectly. So I'm just going to grab one here. This is number 12. I'm going to drag this on top of my other clips. And first I'm gonna find where it is full screen, and I'm gonna add a marker, and then I'm gonna use that marker to perfectly align this, and let's see here. And now I can come down, I have a number of parameters, I can change the duration, I could use a logo if I want, so if I click this right now, it's just gonna be this play button. But if I go into After Effects, I can actually change this. I can freeze the time. I'm gonna change this number to two, because this is the number two freebie on our list. And I'm fine with everything else, except for the color. So let's go ahead and grab the color picker and sample the color of the logo here. And actually, I want my other graphic to come in a little bit later, so let's just kind of bring this over here. So right as this transition goes out, I can see the other animation coming in. Okay, that's looking good. Very cool. Now for the last step, I'm going to add a logo reveal at the very end of my video. So I have 20 different options here, and I can actually go back to the product page and quickly take a look at all these. Now I like number 18 down here, so I can scroll down here, navigate to this one, I'm going to go ahead and favorite this, and then drag it and drop it straight over here. Now these logo reveal clips have a lot of customization options, and they're pretty intricate. So as you see here, it has an alpha channel with this transition in. It's really helpful. But if I don't like that, I can turn that off, hide the transition in. And there's all these different social media icons. So the logo reveal right now in Premiere Pro gives you all these different options. So I can swap between YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Um, or if I'm just doing a call out to my website, I can use this. If I want to add my own logo, I can simply jump over into After Effects and, and add that, which I'll show you how to do in just a minute. If you look down here, I have all the customization options. I can scale the logo, adjust the position, uh, change the length of this line here. And as I change the text, uh, it's going to respond automatically. This is responsive design here. What's really cool is I can turn off the backgrounds here. So if I don't like these backgrounds, um, I can just use this text, which is pretty cool. If I wanted to use these as just a social media call out in the middle of the video, I can do that as well. 
However, let's say that I want to add my own logo. How can we do that? Well, for that, I need to jump back into the product files and I'll go to After Effects, Project Files, and then open up the AE project. So you can see the project file is very neatly organized, very easy to navigate. I'm gonna close this one. Let's open up our logo reveal here. I'm gonna to navigate to the folder and we're gonna open up 18. And here's number 18. If you look at the top, we have the controls layer. And if you go to effect controls, you can see all of the customization options here, but there's an even better way. If I go to window and select the essential graphics panel, and then I go to the master here and navigate to logo reveal 18, you'll see I have all the same customization options here, but it's just a much tighter and neater setup. And now I can just edit this as needed. So I'm gonna go to the first text element and we'll do Boonla's video with the at symbol. And then for the second piece of text, I'll say tools and tutorials for video creators. And if you look at the very bottom here, it says place logo here. So I'll double click this. So I'm gonna jump over here and grab my logo, bring it inside, and now I'll drop it in this comp and quickly rescale it and then turn off the original text and then close this comp. And that's looking pretty big. I can, I can scale it here using this slider. And I'm really not digging these colors. So I'm gonna change this gradient. I'm gonna make this one black. And then we'll color pick this one to use our logo color. I'll go ahead and make this red too. And now to use this in my Premiere Pro project, I can simply dynamic link it or I can export it with an alpha channel straight from After Effects and then import it into Premiere Pro. Okay, so there you have it. That's the YouTuber pack for Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects. This could really be used as a standalone product for either of those programs, or you can use them in both. I'll mostly be using this inside of Premiere Pro, and when I need to make any customization options, for example, like changing the logos, I'll jump over into After Effects for that. But it's really a, a very nice, speedy workflow having everything inside of Premiere Pro. I don't have to leave the program. I can just use those Mogra templates in the Essential Graphics panel and duplicate those once I customize them. It's very, very fast, very, very neat. So if you like what you saw here and you wanna pick up this product, please use my affiliate link, which you'll find in the video description. That really helps out my channel. And another way to help out my channel is to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. And if you wanna see more cool content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell, and as always, I'll see you in the next one.